Target's Fall Designer Collection is dropping October 9th. If you want to know how to score the items and have a sneak peek of what's to come and some systems that I personally utilize to score the items, then stay tuned as I will share all of it in today's video. Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to Natural. There are three designers and they're all dropping October 9th. I'm pretty much the connoisseur when it comes to this, guys. I've done them for 20 years. Yes, I said 20 years. And then you can put it to the test and see for yourself if the strategies work. Now I'm gonna share three clips of the three designers. There's Sergio Hudson, Kiki Vargas, and La Linea. The idea here is you can get better acquainted with the aesthetics and also what the clothes actually look like on people. So let's play those clips and then we'll get into the recommendations for this upcoming fall designer collection that Target will drop on October 9th. Hi, I'm Sergio and I'm so excited to bring the world of Sergio Hudson to Target. Women are the most powerful creatures on the face of the earth. I want them to feel empowered and I want them to feel confident to be able to go out in the world and live what they are. This is one of the great pieces that will go down in the history books of your closet. One of my other favorite things are the gloves. We have them in three colors. These are like really supple, really nice, really high quality. I hope you love this collection as much as I do. I know you're gonna look glamorous, great, and confident in it. I'm Kika and I'm really excited to share with you the world of Kika Vargas with Target. The inspiration behind the collection was bringing in the joy and the color and the warmth from my Colombian heritage. This collaboration is a dream come true. I grew up in Target. It's amazing to see all the work we've done. You can really play around and make it your own. Mix and match print, layer everything on top. It's about feeling beautiful at all times, styled head to toe. Kika. I hope you love the collection as much as I do. Ciao! <laughs> Hi, I'm Valerie. I'm Meredith. I'm Molly. And we're Laleen. <laughs> We're so excited to bring this collection to all of you at Target. We all have those pieces of clothing in our closet that are go-to pieces. They give us confidence, they're comfortable, they take us through any occasion or life event. Through this collaboration with Target, we really want to design those pieces for you. For us, the stripe is a classic, but it's not always expected and it's certainly never always literal. It's really just kind of quirky and fun. These are clothes to eat, sleep, drink, and dance in. And be a boss in. We hope you love this collection and all the pieces in it as much as we do. I'm so excited to see Target branching out, tapping into designers that are not as well known, even though they ought to be. It just makes them a little bit more accessible, and I love that. There's Sergio Hudson, Kiki Vargas, and La Lania. I will suggest everyone go on Target.com and read the bio for each of the designers. But in a nutshell, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an overview so you can get better acquainted with what to expect. Sergio Hudson is divine. He masters feminine glamour silhouettes. He is not disappointing in this collaboration. His aesthetic for his higher end items, I can see them in some of the pieces on this collection. I can't wait to go into them. I just love his designs and the way he dresses women for empowerment, confidence, and just beauty. It's all glam. It's so ultra feminine with the wide legs. I would definitely think Bianca Jagger. Oh, there is something for everyone in his line. Next up is Kiki Vargas. Kiki Vargas is a Latin designer from Bogota, Colombia. I happen to love her designs. They're very playful, very fun. She has signature things about her line. She uses a lot of scalloping in her aesthetic. We will see that in a minute. The next designer is La Linea. They have a more all-American aesthetic. Think stripes, nautical stripes. A very classic yet chic look. I happen to like some of the designs. I was pleasantly pleased. Now, without further ado, let's go through each designer and their aesthetics and looks. 
Let's start with Sergio Hudson. I did have a look last night and I hearted some items. The idea when I hearted the items was to look at things that every woman ought to have as a staple in her closet. If you have something like this, then it's not for you unless it's time for you to replace it. A lot of the items I don't personally need, but I wanted to bring value to you and just share my thoughts as to what are the items that are jumping and screaming must haves in my opinion. For Sergio Hudson, it's the color palette, it's the divine woman, the glamour. I love it. You can mix and match all of the pieces. I have some favorites that I'll share. Let's look at his line. There's 36 pieces in this collection. I love the high waist slitted pencil. It's the color palette. It's also the length of the skirt. It is that classic midi elegant skirt. There's a little bit of a slit towards the side of the leg peak slither absolutely love I also love the way that it's showcased with different variations of the blue it is a very jewel toned turquoise but as you can see the shoes are slightly lighter than the skirt and the top I love that he plays with that it's the right way to do it in my opinion because it shows you to not pursue a very matchy matchy color palette it's in the same family and it works the trousers another must-have these are high waist waist long wide leg tailored trousers. I love all of the colors. It's offered in the turquoise as well in this pink and the yellow. I happen to love all three but if I had to pick two the yellow and the turquoise are my jam. Those are the two that I highly suggest. I love the pink as a matter of fact. I did a video on dopamine pink. It is one of the trending colors for this fall. What I love and prefer about the yellow and the turquoise is it has a lot more longevity in my closet with my personal style aesthetic and it also doesn't date itself or limit itself to a trend. The yellow and the turquoise are my two choices. Let's scroll up. There's something for everyone. This bustier midi dress, not my thing. However, it is perfect for upcoming holidays, soirees. If you don't have anything like this, definitely consider it. It's sexy and I love the midi dress. That's my go-to length. Very elegant. I prefer it and all of his dresses appear to be midi length. Same thing with the balloon sleeve midi dress. If the bustier midi dress is not your jam, then maybe the long sleeve balloon sleeve midi dress is. The colors work. The animal print strong shoulder trench coat. I want to click on that. What I love is the classic print of this trench coat. I also love the length and the fact that you can dress her up and dress her down. You can wear it the way it's styled here in a very glam way with heels. However, if you wanted to wear some jeans, Oxford shirt, and throw this trench on, it will work. The trick is to size up so the trench jacket has more of an oversized fit. I even like the oversized fit for daytime. I love layering and I love those blue sont looks that allow me to create a little bit more of a blue sont sleeve on top, tie the belt, and allows me to play. A fitted look like this, I would wouldn't get in my size. That's just a personal preference because I want to be able to have the piece be dressed up and be stressed down. So I'd probably wear a medium or even a large. When it comes to sizing, you know I don't care about the sizing. I'm a fit girl, so I buy based on the desired fit and style aesthetic I'm going for. And with the larger size, I can do both daytime and nighttime. I happen to really like the structure of this. They added the belt, which is also being sold separately in this collection or you can use the belt that is featured with the trench. Personally, I would add a different belt and I would even play with color. I would probably do a pop of red or any other color based on what I'm wearing underneath. So just food for thought. The zebra blouse, I didn't heart it, not my thing, but if you don't have anything like this, there's nothing I have seen to date that I would say no to. There's pieces for work, for daytime, for soirees, and for evening. Evening. I like to dress things down so I would throw pretty much anything on with a pair of kicks or a lug boot for more street style that's just a personal preference. I don't wear heels often and so all of these looks are featured with heels so when I'm looking at them I'm thinking a little bit outside the box as to how I would dress them down and stylize them. The women's animal print side cut dress a must. It's just the slither 
of skin right here at the side. Here's another angle. I love the length. I love the way it's form fitting and it seems to have a little bit of structure at the shoulders. There seems to be a little bit of a shoulder pad there, which I love. It'll give you a little more structure on top. And if you wear a blazer or even that trench coat, it'll structure it a bit more, which I love. I'm off of the shoulder pads and I love where he placed the cutout on this dress. I too love that it's on one side. I'm not a fan so much that he just chose the black and white. I wish it was offered in a different color, but black and white, timeless, works for everyone. So I can understand if you had to pick one color palette, black and white is the way to go. Next up is this off the shoulder bodysuit. I love this top. It's the ribbed knit. I just think it's flattering. I also love the scallop twist at the top, the off the shoulder look. I love this. It's easy breezy. I happen to like the color. I like it with his trousers. And as you can see, the pants look a little bit more citrus and could even be a bit orange or more mustard when you have it against this canary yellow, but it works. Something you would probably think twice about works. And I love that he's playing with color. Here are the high waist tailored pants in the fuchsia. As I mentioned, I love this. I chose the yellow and I chose the turquoise from the three, but the pink works as well. I actually love this little tank underneath. I wish that came in the yellow and the blue, but that's another story. There's this one shoulder cutout jumpsuit. Let's look at it. It's actually really nice in design. I love the fact that she's wearing her hair back and putting all of the emphasis on the look. It's exactly what I would do. It doesn't compete with the slither of skin that is across the the top of the jumpsuit, nor the slither of skin on the side. And here it is from the back. I happen to love this. I don't think I need anything like this, but for $55, I just may order this because I want to see this on. The red classic, perfect for the upcoming holidays and for any upcoming soirees you may have. I want to look at the tailored blazer. The tailored blazer goes well with the jumpsuit. Let's play the video and see what that looks like. So it's the same red as the jumpsuit and the bustier dress. I happen to like the single button and he has a signature where he doesn't have openings in the back, straight at the back of the jacket. As you can see, it's here on the side. It's a very structured fit. I happen to love that. Next up, the coat. This is my favorite piece of his collection. It's this purple coat. It's $70. It is a long tailored coat. Let's see how tall she is. So she's 5'9". She's wearing a size small and it hits literally about two inches from, maybe three inches from her ankle. I love this. It is really tailored. It has some darting. If you need it to take it in, it's an easy fix because it has all of these darts in the front and even more in the back. I would size up when in doubt and I would take it into a tailor to take it in here at the waist if needed. I love this coat. I wish they had a video of it. I wanna see the plus size model. Oh, I love the buttons. Oh, I love that detail. Six buttons at the wrist. This houndstooth faux fur, if you don't own a piece like this, just look at it in motion. It's that piece if you want to make a statement. Moving on, the ribbed turtleneck sweater. I love that. If you don't have anything like this, I happen to love turtlenecks. It's a very chic way of dressing in the winter. It looks like it's great quality. I also love it with the skirt. Skirt. I wish they had video footage, but it's such an elegant look. It's a no brainer. You can just wear it like this or add a blazer or cardigan on top. I just love color and this particular blue just tickles my fancy, which is why I'm hearting everything that has this turquoise blue. I also hearted this cropped bralette sweater. I love bralettes and this color works well with a lot of things. I would even wear this with the blue or yellow pants. I wouldn't just do a monochromatic look with the matching pants, although that is the way that it is styled. I like this. I just wish it came in different colors because I would personally buy this bralette in the other colors if it was also offered. As far as the accessories go, I love the belts. I would do the red and the pink and the strong shoulder sweater midi dress. Look at that shoulder. I love that. I too love 
the length of this dress. It looks like it's a great quality. I love the color. This has video footage, so let's look at this. And then the same shoulder sweater midi dress with the strong shoulders is offered in houndstooth print. It's a classic, it's very elegant. I think she looks divine in it. And here it's worn with a matching beret. It's definitely a look. If it's not your thing, wear them as separate, but it's also very chic and looks great together. Here it's the hat and they added the belt. I happen to love this look. You can see how one simple dress goes a long way. You can even add Add a different pop of color over it to kind of cut the print. I love this and buy a blazer or cardigan. Don't simply think black or white. You can use color like red or a royal blue. The best part are probably these long leather gloves. They're divine. They're very long. The purple and the red, a must have for $35. I don't need the black, but if you don't have black, definitely get all three. I love, love, love. These are a must have. I love the fact that the price point is affordable. $35 for leather, you can't go wrong. I would definitely take the time to look at the footage on Target so you can see the looks worn by various models and you can see them in movement. That would be my suggestion. Next up is Kiki Vargas. Let's go to Kiki Vargas. Has a more playful, younger, romantic feel in her aesthetic. As you can see, there's like a baby doll dress. There's also this oversized satin look with puff sleeves and the scallops that are signature in her designs. Let's go into the actual looks. So in her collection, there's 40 results. This jacket I hearted because it is probably the one that is most signature. The scallops, I think this picture may show you a little bit better. It is signature. I love the print. I love the color. I also love the sleeves. She plays with dimensions and you can also mix and match across all of the other prints. Is a no brainer. I personally don't need it. I will probably not get this, but I hearted it because it is signature Kiki Vargas. It's a quilted coat that has has more playfulness. You can dress this up, dress this down, and it's chic. This floral puff sleeve mini dress, it's very adorable. I like this look, not if you're top heavy. I happen to be top heavy and I am not a fan of this look. It does look great, especially if you wanna wear a flat like they're doing and showcase legs, I'm all for it. However, this type of style dress for me, it just adds volume in areas that I don't want to add volume. It literally makes me look like I'm seven months pregnant because I'm top heavy. The rest of the dress doesn't ever seem to lay flat. It just create too much dimension in front of me. And I'm not a fan of that look, so I'm gonna stay away from this particular dress. Next up, something that does jump out at me is this mum floral tear dress, very signature of her dresses. I wish the sleeves were longer. I happen to be a fan of the blue sawn sleeves that come to the elbow, and I'm gonna explain to you why. When you have have them to the bicep. It is extremely flattering for the woman that is naturally longer and has leaner arms. If you happen to have muscle, that is cutting you at the widest part of your bicep, so it actually creates more volume. I am not a fan of that. However, I will probably fix this by sizing up and attempting to have the arms hit a little bit lower than the bicep. That's why I'm not a fan of the bicep cut. I will always opt for a longer till the elbow type of blousant sleeve. I do love that it has pockets. I also love the signature scallop and the print. I wish they had a sneaker, but the closest they did was this rain boot. It works. It doesn't compete with the dress. However, I wish they would have thought a little bit more about everyday casual as opposed to a rainy day casual. Next up, I wanna click on this scalloped gold dress. This dress, 
maybe much for most of us. However, I do like the sleeves here better. Not a fan that it's all the way to the top. And the waist seems to be a little bit higher than a true waist. It will need to be seen on. It's really difficult to assess. It hits her underneath her bosom and she's not top heavy. Not a fan of that look. I may just order it as I want to see it in a larger size and see if I like the look. Like this particular look, I love. I love the glasses, I like the bag, and it fits her well. I don't know if that's gonna be flattering for someone who's top heavy like myself. The next look is these signature scallop edge wrap tops. You'll notice the top is plain, but she's known to have these bibs. I'll share one here. It's actually called an edge collar. And what you do is you place it on top. It's a look. I love this look. This is something that I think is a very stylish look. Let's make that bigger. This is how I would dress up if I decide to purchase these items. It's fun. Look at this on top. It's an edge collar. And look at the sleeves of this trench coat as well as the scallop front. Love this look. I think out of all of the looks, this one captures the essence of Kiki Vargas. I want to show the top. I love that. I know that may be a bit frumpy for most or a little too vintage inspired, but it's the only way that I would wear the top. It's fun. It's playful. I just think it elevates it and it shows that you're thinking a little bit outside of the domains of what is fashionable and stylish because you're opting for a little risk by adding the edge collar. I wouldn't necessarily do it with one of the short dresses because I do think it's too voluminous for me. It comes in white. I personally like the floral. The tops are all the same. The white is pretty chic. Again, this particular style of top tends to add a lot of volume in the midsection, which is why I shy away from it. However, I would do the flower print that I just showed you, this one here, I would do it with the edge collar. I just think it's a look and I think it's more elevated. Do you see how that elevates it a lot more? This I am getting and I love the way they styled it with some culottes denim. It's big for this fall. Probably wear this together and then throw the trench jacket. I also like the little bag but we'll get into that in a minute. I don't need this trench jacket. I actually have a jacket that's a little similar. Very similar on the sleeves. However, it's much longer. It hits my ankles. I shared that lovely trench coat in this video in case you missed it. I love that trench coat so I had to share that trench. I don't need this one but if you don't have that trench coat this is another alternative. Here's the trench coat on its own. Lovely piece. I highly recommend. I might order this because I want to see it on. I happen to like everything about this trench. I wish it was longer but that's probably why I'm going to order it because I don't have this length. But I'm loving the sleeves and I'm loving the scalloped edges. I'm going to order this. This piece is my number one must-have piece from Kiki Vargas. That's it. There's one piece I highly recommend is the scallop edge trench coat. I think I spoke too soon because the sunglass chains and the sunglasses are everything. My favorite one is this peach, the must-have for me. Oh, I love. I want to see it on fabulous. There's also a black pair. I would say get all of the colors, but I don't think we need all of the colors, but why not? At the price point of $15 and $20, you can always return the pair that didn't meet your standards. I love the clear as well. And last but not least, I want to see the black on. Very chic. I like this look. Do you see what I mean with the volume of the dress? That is something that I tend to stay away from because I am busty but I do like this look on her and it doesn't mean that you can't wear the dress if you're busty it's a personal preference so for me I do not like it do I have some pieces like that yes and the few pieces that I have do it for me I don't need to go buy more dresses in the same style that's not my favorite aesthetic this is a very fun bag I do like the print I also like the shape I will probably end up ordering 
bring this back because I need to see it in person. So I'm going to heart that. I would pick the print over this lavender solid. I do love the playfulness of the handle, but I really think this color one does the trick. These puffer totes, I like a lot. I do like both the blue. Let's see the blue on. If I had to choose one, I'd probably pick the gold. And I like that it comes with this extra little pouch. Be mindful, this bag will probably wear and tear because it's nylon. For the price point, I am deducing it is not made with anything that may be more durable. It's just nylon. In my experience with nylon, unless it has some type of coating for rain or for durability so it doesn't easily rip, eventually whatever the color is will fade and may rip. So be mindful. I hope that helps. Last but not least, Lalinia. This designer I am not as familiar with. Based on what I'm looking at from first glance, it's all American and it's very chic and classic. But there's also some playfulness here and I can't wait to discover this line together with you. It's all Americana. I do like the nautical stripes. There's 36 items. This smocked bodice midi dress, not exactly the one that I would pick, but I do like it. Let's see it in motion. Here it's being styled with the sweater on top, multifunctional, and I do like that it's flattering for her body type because it cinches at the waist and it's fitted around the bosom but it's not too low and has a nice loose fit on the bottom. I saw this zip striped cable knit sweater in the green so I'm gonna wait for that because I just saw that in the video. I do like the striped sweater pants. This is so far the item that jumped out at me. It's the floral button front blouse and the wide leg trousers, same brown and white print. Now let's click on it. Love this. You know I love pajama dressing. It's a pajama uniform. It's a thing. It's not literal pajama. Yes, you can wear this in the house, but I love how this aesthetic resonates outdoors and it's just a casual chic look. Wear some flat forms or some platform sneakers and you're good to go. I talk all about it in my video where I talk about spring dressing and wearing pajama outfits with kicks. It being a look, it's a thing. It's not just limited to dress down or at home loungewear. I'll link that video here if you haven't seen that so you can see those aesthetics in that video. Love this look. I would change the shoes and I wouldn't necessarily put the sweater. I like that she tucked in one side of it and left the other side out. Same here, she's wearing it with jeans. I love I love this. I love the way it looks. I love the color palette. And I want to see these pants. Oh, there's a video. Let's see. But it's more, again, those videos where it's just images kind of in poses. It's not like dynamic video, but that's another thing. Love both of these. I wanted to see this on her. It has pockets. Okay. I love this look. I think they did a great job. Oh, the length. Yes, it's not too short. I'll pull away so you can see. It is the right length. I like the details at the wrist. Love this. For $35, the pants are $40. These two are my must-have pieces on this line. The next thing that tickles my fancy are these side stripe wide leg pants. I do like these. I like the darting in the top and I like the hem at the bottom. Let's see. I don't think it's going to be video footage. I just think it's going to be poses. I like the split hem. That's a must-have. So there's the pajama pant and top, which I consider one. And then these side stripe wide leg pants. If I had to pick one of the smock bodice midi dresses, my favorite one was the first one in the print of the pajama. I want to see this trench. This is an interesting trench coat. I don't need anything like it. I can appreciate that it's tan in the back and navy in the front. I do like this. I simply don't need it. And if I had to pick between this one and Kiki Vargas, I would go with Kiki Vargas because of the playfulness. This is more a traditional traditional trench coat. The next item that stands out is this rugby stripe cardigan. I like the oversized fit. I love the blue and red. However, I don't need this, but I do like it. So I'm going to heart it because I like this and it's an easy way to add color to a look and I like the fit. This quarter zip striped cable knit sweater in the green with the baby blue, I really like. It seems to be more of a fitted look than I hoped for 
more and a little bit more cropped. Not sure if sizing up would change that. I do like this sweater. I simply wish it was longer. And this sweater gives me that vibe. So I love the idea. I'm not sure if the fit will be well, but I'm gonna heart it and I'll find out once I order it. I do like the side stripe sweater pants in the navy. I don't need anything like it, but I do like the idea and the concept. I love the socks, so I'm gonna say yes to the green and blue socks and also yes to the gray socks. I don't need scarves. If you need a fun, inexpensive scarf and hat set, then these are perfect options, but I don't need anything like that. That's pretty much it. Let's look at one last thing, FAQs. We know that the collection ranges $8 to $70. Most of the items are under $40. The most expensive item is $70. The thing that stands out in that price range is Sergio Hudson houndstooth coat. That is a piece. I don't need it, so I. I will not be buying it, but if you don't have a beautiful it factor coat, then that is a great option. The sizes are extra, extra small to 4X, which is the equivalent to zero to 30 waist. All of the apparel is offered in plus size. All stores will open at the regular posted time in my local area in New York City. That's 8 a.m. on a Sunday. There's a 14 day return policy for these fall designer collection items, as opposed to their regular 90 day return policy. However, if you you do utilize your red card, you will receive 30 day return policy, plus an additional 30 days, so that's 60 days. There will be no purchase limit in Target stores. There will be purchase limits of five per size and or color per transaction on Target.com. That's good to know. A lot of times people purchase multiple items because they are planning to resell the items once they sell out for a profit and they're limiting the items one person can purchase to five. There's hope for all of us to secure the items and not have to pay higher prices in the reseller market. And that's pretty much it. I can't wait to get my hands on the items. As I mentioned, I will be ordering the items online as well as going to my local Target. I always do that. I prefer to be safe than sorry. There have been times when I expected the full collection to show up at the store and only select items were there. So when in doubt, do both. All you need to do is return the items that you you decide not to keep. I also like to size up because the sizing happens to be all over the place. In the past, items have ran small and large. So I would suggest ordering two sizes and eliminating the getting stuck with an item. My suggestion is to order two sizes. I always do that because the sizing can be all over the place. Sometimes they're small, sometimes they're too big. With two size options, I usually hit the mark with one of them. I can't wait to hear your experiences with the line. Don't forget to share what are the pieces you can't wait to get your hands on. I'm excited. I hope you are too. And once I get the items, I will do a video with the items. I will style them and you will let me know your thoughts from your selections and the selections I make. We've come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to sound off in the comments below. For all of you that are new to Naturel, welcome. I love talking about fashion, style, and lifestyle through the lens of joy and fulfillment. If these are things that tickle your fancy, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know every time I release a video. Until next time, my friends. Toodles.